Hello, my name is Alexandra Larson, and I'm giving a presentation on repurposing the baseball diamond. I'm currently a senior at Johns Hopkins University, and I'm going to address the talk of possibly moving the baseball team to a different location and using the baseball diamond for a different purpose. So the lineup of my proposal, first I'd like to discuss the um, freshman community feeling at Hopkins. Second, I'd like to discuss what I think is the best thing to do with the baseball diamond, which is to create a freshman center. And third, I'd like to discuss the practicality of creating this freshman center. So first, talking about the community feeling at Hopkins. Most people in other colleges, the main point where they get together and socialize is a student union. Unfortunately, Johns Hopkins does not have a student union. So therefore, the places where freshmen get together are usually the library, which is not the most social of environments, and the freshman food cafe. The problem becomes is that freshman housing is very dispersed. So we have freshmen, my freshman year, freshmen even lived in Hopkins Inn, but we have freshmen living across North Charles Street in both Woolman and McCoy. And so what happens is that it becomes a very long walk to the freshman food cafe, especially in winter season. And so those freshmen that live across North Charles Street don't really have the exact same experience and community feeling as those who live in the AMRs and Building B, Building A and B. And this is exemplified from a quote from a fellow senior, Alexandra Bellows. She says, as a freshman, I lived in Woolman. Many times my roommates and I would choose to eat in Charles Street Market or our rooms because the FFC was far away, especially in the winter. And by creating a freshman center, this is the exact problem we will solve. In this freshman center, we would have room, we would have enough room for all freshmen who lived on, across North Charles Street to move onto the Homewood campus. And while I was doing research onto what I would like the structure to look like, I found this Olin College. And Olin College of Engineering is in Massachusetts, and I thought that this design was beautiful, especially with the way that it was open in the center and that there was a quad. Obviously, we need to scale down these buildings a little because these are very large, but I loved also how they were made of glass, which reminded me a lot of the Brody Learning Center. And within this freshman center, not only is it important to have rooms for about 600 freshmen, which is the uh, approximately the population of freshmen that live in Woolman and McCoy currently, but I also thought it would be great to have freshman study rooms, which would allow freshmen in the same classes to get together and to learn together. And I thought that, as we could see in Olin, um, as we can see in Olin, that there was the um, open space in the middle. That if we put something like that on the Homewood campus in this freshman complex, that people could rent sporting equipment. And you could go and rent a frisbee, or you can go and rent a football or a baseball, and you could just have a nice time with your friends without having to go too far. And I also thought it would be great to have a movie theater or a rec room within this freshman center. So it would really create another relaxing place for freshmen to get together and know each other. I mean, freshman year is a really great time to make friends. You have covered grades, and I can say personally that the friendships I made freshman year have really sustained me all throughout college, and I know that's the same for a lot of people. And there's also upperclassmen advantages to creating this freshman center, which we'll talk about in the practicality. So the practicality of creating a freshman center. I looked at the 2008 Homewood update, and I estimated based on the costs for building, for building the Birdie Learning Commons and the Lacrosse Center, that is going to be about $650 per square foot for construction costs and $670 a square foot for project costs, which include the construction costs. And based on the 2008 Homewood update, the size of that is about 250,000 square feet, which comes out to $167.5 million, which I do believe that the university could cut down through fundraising for building a freshman center for all the freshmen to be able to live in the same generalized area. Now, by creating a freshman center, it also has great benefits on upperclassmen. So so all the sophomores who currently are living in Homewood and, and um, the Bradford could then move into Woolman and McCoy, which will have openings because those 600 freshmen will have moved to the freshman center. And so this will create a community feeling, a more of a community feeling for um, sophomores as well because now they'll all be very close to Nolan. And then this will also help reduce the cost issue because if you create 600 new openings in Bradford and Homewood, then juniors and seniors could then move into Bradford and Homewood. And I know that a big problem for upperclassmen is that many do want to still live in on-campus housing, but there's not enough rooms for them. 
So this will create about $6.6 million a year in extra income. And while this is not going to be all pure profit because the money goes into maintaining the buildings and living costs, but the university will still regain some of the money that it spent on building this freshman center. And I'd like to end with a quote from Kayla Annarelli, who kind of exemplifies exactly why it's so important to build this freshman center. So as a freshman, I lived in Amar 1. It was great to walk out of, my, out of my room and see all the activities on the freshman quad and be so close to the FFC. I definitely saw my friends who lived in the AMRs and building A and B more than those who lived in Woolman and McCoy. So this is the exact problem we're trying to solve by building a freshman center. We want to create a community where all the freshmen can be in the same generalized location, the same distance away from the freshman food cafe, and can really gather to get to know each other, build friendships, and create a strong community feeling and pride for Johns Hopkins University. And that is why I think that the best thing to do with the baseball fields within the next 10 years is to build more freshman housing and a freshman center so that all freshmen can be on that quad. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation.